D.C. last year and saw a lot of things, and there are two things that were emotionally very, it just drained you. Uh, one is the Holocaust Center, and the other is the Vietnam Wall in Washington. Many of you who don't, are too young to remember Vietnam and what an awful war it was. Another war we were pulled into for no reason. And after that, they built a wall in Washington. It's black, and, and they have the names engraved on, all, on that wall of all the American troops, the innocents who died there, 58,000 of them. Uh, this poem is about that wall. There's a wall of shame in Washington for those who caused the need for it. A see-through cloud of sadness emanates from it that all who view it feel. This crazy, awful history, too terrible to believe, yet real. I cannot look at it without tearing up. Black is its color, as it should be, the color of death. And yet it is a wall of honor, too, for all of those countless names carved on it, those young boys made into men who did not want to die, but did, long before their time had come. Politicians sent them off to war, drafted them to go and die for who knows why. This little country that could not change ours, could not affect ours, their politics not worth one even young man's death, yet 58,000 of them died, youth dead before their time, and no politician died. And many more wounded soldiers, physically and mentally, did come home, called baby killers when they got here, saw friends die in pain, all the horrors, all the nightmares, survivors who could not forget, now living there under bridges, not receiving care. It's an honor, politicians told them, an honor they spared from themselves, though. And even though I, I, I knew no one of those names called on that wall, I can't look at it without feeling it in my soul, as though it has pierced my heart. Believe it or not, politicians tried to stop that wall from being built, tried to hide the shame of that war, hating, with, uh, ha hating that with all the lives lost and ruined. It was the only war we ever lost, and so they didn't want to build a monument to it. They really tried to stop it wanted to hide from the truth, hide it from us, but we remember. Many thought this wall would, would not, many thought this wall would be a lesson to not nation build, not interfere with other countries, hoping we could build peace and not war and lose no more of our politicians' human lives. And so we talked peace, but yet we did not learn. And so we have walked wars. Seven years in Iraq, nine in Afghanistan, and both wars still going. And I cry out at that wall, when will this madness stop? And the wall is only silent, dark and silent, and it must be weeping inside. It has done its best to teach us, yet we refuse to learn. Say slogans like support our troops, which of course we all do, but what they really mean is support our wars. They, all say boot, they also say boots on the ground, but it's not boots whose soldiers who die and who are maimed and whose lives are forever changed. And the cost over a trillion dollars now, and each day growing. I think that all the good that could have been done with that money, no killing, no maiming, no post-traumatic stress disorder, or all the innocent civilians, citizens of those countries whose lives have been terminated or devastated. They are God's children too, and a million Vietnamese died in that war. These wars for money, only the rich profit from them. This was a war fought by the black man to kill a yellow man to protect the white man's land that it stole from the red man. What was that war about? And what was it for? You tell me.